Hello everyone, I want to pray for you today. I have read your comments and I have received some DMs and I feel not many people are happy. And um, I want to tell you a secret. Our funny video can only help your mood in just a short while. But today, I want to commit to you a solution that will stay with you eternally. You know, that is what I want to commit to you today. And my prayer for you today is, may God be the source of your joy. I pray for you. The Bible says that cast your burden on him, for he cares for you. Cast your burden onto Jesus, for he cares for you. I pray that the peace of God will rule in your heart. Let me tell you the reason why Jesus is the only one that cares for you, irrespective of what you do. Because men can fail you. They may care. But the day you disappoint them, they can fail you. Your boyfriend can fail you. Your father can fail you, although they care. But even if you fail Jesus, he still cares for you because he has been there before. Let me tell you something about the life of Jesus that will, that will change your mindset. You know, in John chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When you read the latter verse, the Bible says that, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. That word is Jesus. And the Bible says that, and the word was with God. And when Jesus walked upon the face of the earth, the Bible makes us to understand in John 10, 30, it says that what? I and my father are one. So it tells you the close relationship Jesus had with the father. But on the cross, the Bible says that Jesus cried out loud. And he says, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? It was at that point that I realized that our salvation was at stake. I, 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 I thought our salvation was under attack because I thought the Father was the one supposed to resurrect Jesus. But Jesus is now saying that, my Father, my Father, why have you forsaken me? It was until I read Romans chapter 8 verse 11, then I realized that there was a spirit in Jesus that raised him from the dead. The Bible says that, but if the spirit of him who raised him from the dead dwells in you. So Jesus, even though he suffered rejection, the Bible says that the spirit in him raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus has the key to the solutions of rejection. You know, rejection gave Jesus the platform to allow the spirit in him to raise him up. Rejection was the reason. Rejection gave the Holy Spirit in Jesus the platform to manifest. Sometimes God allows rejection to come your way. Sometimes God allows some people to reject you so that the potentials he has placed in you will manifest. You know? So, instead of allowing rejection to break you, allow rejection to make you. If Jesus had become so discouraged and disappointed, the spirit in him wouldn't have come to work. The spirit in him wouldn't play a role in his resurrection. But Jesus... Although he suffered rejection from the Father, the Spirit in him rose him up. It is so that the scriptures will be fulfilled. It is so that you will also understand that there is a treasure hidden in your earthen vessel. Men may reject you. Your father may reject you. Your boyfriend may reject you. Bro, sister, don't ever be discouraged. Just have Embrace it and believe in the God on your inside. For I know 
that there is a hidden potential in you. And just like how the Spirit of God raised Jesus from the dead, I pray that that same Spirit in you will cause you to come back to your feet again. I encourage you, don't be discouraged. Don't feel rejected because the Bible gives us, an, gives us an assurance. It says, cast your burden onto him for he cares for you. Stay blessed. Stay motivated and be empowered once again. Arise. <laughs>